Hey guys, hope you're doing well. This is Dennis here. I uh, wanted to do a quick video on how to fix the USB-C port issue on a Lenovo Yoga 910. If you're watching this video, chances are you have one. Um, maybe you have a 920 or uh, the models before then. I would imagine the fix is the same if it is uh, actually a hardware issue. Um, I wanted to do the video because I didn't find anything remotely useful, really, um, when I was trying to fix this particular issue uh, myself. Um, Chances are you either have a port that doesn't output uh, video like I do, or maybe the port doesn't uh, charge or, or provide power to any of your uh, peripherals. So that's the point of this particular video. Um, step one would be to figure out if you truly have a hardware issue. So what I ended up doing was um, I was actually using a, a, an adapter for the HDMI output um, from the port itself to the screen that you see behind you and it was working for about two and a half weeks and then port was done. Uh, I disconnected the computer, I was t testing some stuff out in the house and then I reconnected about 20 minutes later and I no longer got an image or signal to the TV and it stopped working for about two weeks after that. Um, tried a bunch of stuff, I even wiped the computer based off of what people were saying in the forums and all that stuff and nothing was actually useful so that's why I wanted to make this video. Um, so step one is to definitely find out if what you're having is a hardware issue. I tested out that same exact adapter at work with one of my coworkers, uh, MacBook Pros, and the port worked, uh, or the, the adapter worked without issue. Um, so that ruled out the, the adapter. The step two was to see if the port, the video out port, um, was supplying power. So I actually connected a USB-C cable to USB-C and try charging my phone. And when I realized that I didn't have any power on there, that's when I realized I had um, a dead port. Um, and actually to take it a step further, which I think is worth mentioning, I actually have one of these guys. I don't know if you would um, have one of these, um, but this is basically a USB-C to uh, three USB uh, 3.0 ports. And it has here, or right here I should say, uh, what's called a power delivery port. So essentially, you can connect your charger here, connect this to your charger port on your, your computer, and then you can utilize three other USB uh, peripherals and not lose a charging port, which is pretty cool. What I realized in troubleshooting was that I actually tested connecting this to the video uh, output port uh, with the charger connected. And I realized that when the charger was connected, the USB uh, 3 uh, peripherals were recognized. So I knew that the port wasn't completely dead. It was a power issue with the port. As long as there was current running through the power, uh, or the port I should say, the peripherals were, were recognized. That's why the adapter no longer worked. And I don't know if the adapter caused it or not. I don't think so. Um, just because it's working with another computer um, and just based off what I was reading in the, in the, the, the forums themselves, it seems like a lot of different people had that issue, so I highly doubt that we're all using the same or just a handful of uh, adapters for the, the output port on the Lenovo. Um, so what I ended up doing, I called uh, support, Lenovo support, and they were not useful at all. Uh, I told them, hey, you know, I've had this computer, I've only been using this port for two and a half weeks. It's kind of unacceptable that a computer that's new like this that hasn't really gotten any usage uh, would have a port that would go bad. You know, it's just a, a basic USB-C port, right? Um, and they told me there's nothing they could do because I was already outside of, of the warranty. Um, and all they basically told me was to take it to a Geek Squad uh, location in a Best Buy and that they were authorized to fix this kind of stuff. Uh, I pretty much laughed at the idea. Um, and previous to that conversation, I had actually, uh, in looking at all the forums, it seemed like the, the people that sent it in for warranty repairs, a lot of people said they sent it in uh, and they got their motherboard replaced and all this stuff. So I already had in my mind that maybe those ports were soldered to the motherboard. So that's what I was kind of talking to that person on the phone about. And I thought that, you know, I was just going to have to buy a new motherboard and swap it out, which I thought was pretty drastic. And yeah, so I didn't want it to be something drastic and I didn't want to spend all that money to fix a port um, that shouldn't have gotten messed up to begin with. So I did more research. Um, what I ended up doing was uh, opening the computer to check out how the ports were pretty much connected and attached to the motherboard. 
Um, luckily, I did that. Um, you would actually need uh, a torque set. They're very, very small screws, which you can see if you flip over the back. Um, you see the back of the, the computer. I got one of these guys right here. Um, and this is very handy to have. I've used this for other projects. Uh, but it was like 10 bucks at Walmart, which I highly recommend. You get this one or any other ones um, that have very small tor uh, torque screws, um, screwdrivers, so, or bits, I should say. Um, so I ended up taking out the all the screws in the back. And um, the good thing about having the flat computer like this is that they're, they're limited into kind of how they put the pieces together. So it ends up being pretty simple. Um, so once you take this back paneling off, you'll see uh, wherever the, depending on how you flip it around, but if you look at the ports on the inside in this corner right here, um, that there's just a ribbon, and I'll show you what it looks like um, because I actually ordered a replacement. So that's the ribbon that connects to this particular piece here, and this is the old one. This is the one I actually swapped out because I ended up ordering a new one. So this is what it looks like. Um, there you go. So it's a small little module. It's not actually soldered to the motherboard, which is the great uh, piece about it. Um, and it's not a motherboard swap that you have to do, which is expensive and a lot more work to swap everything out. So what I ended up doing was, if you go onto the, the, the Lenovo website, uh, and I'll add that link to the description just to make it easier for you, you can actually um, enter in the serial number of your computer. It's gonna spit out all the parts that it has and all the, mat, uh, the manufacturing uh, part uh, numbers which is awesome. I've actually never seen uh, um, any website uh, kind of computer manufacturers um, do that, which was um, pretty useful. So um, if you're having that issue, what I would do, and this is what I did and it worked flawlessly, I ended up going on that website. I typed in the serial number, which you can find right here. Um, I don't know if you could, maybe I'll zoom in here so you can see. Um, I ended up typing in that serial number I went to the category that involved kind of the input outputs of you know um, the pieces that it has on the computer, and it showed showed me the um, this particular manufacturing number, which I then went on eBay and then I found the part for it, and it was about I think I paid fifty three dollars for the the replacement, and it comes with with the uh, the ribbon as a set. I actually didn't have to swap out the ribbon itself. Um, and I don't think you would have to either. Just, um, again, take off the, the back paneling here. Super easy. Just get this, the kit that I recommended. Um, and it's about two or three um, screws that you have to take out to be able to take out the actual module for the USB-C ports. And then just pop out the, the ribbon, put in the replacement, put in the ribbon again, and just put the screws back in. And it's a simple, simple swap. And for 50 bucks or so, um, you'll get your ports working uh, in good order. Um, so it wasn't a, a swap that required, you know, the motherboard and all that stuff and spending a bunch of money. And it's a very, very simple swap, definitely a DIY. Uh, if you call Lenovo, it's kind of disturbing how, you know, their customer service doesn't tell you what it could be. And if you tell them you're gonna swap out the motherboard, they just let you think that because that's what they told me. Or they're gonna recommend you just to Geek Squad is probably gonna charge you like $500 to swap out something that you can do yourself in, in 10, 15 minutes. Uh, what I will say is once you pop this out in the back, this back panel here, there is in the center right here, there's actually a clip here, a clip here and a clip here. So when you take the, uh, the panel out, just be careful uh, try not to pull it too much from one end. So try to pull more from the center um, so that you can snap it out and without like bending the actual back plate. And then once you open it, you can see how easy to actually change out some of the other pieces. So if you had like problems with your fans or the battery, the battery would be the easiest swap you can do. Um, so once you open it, you'll kind of get more, more familiar and comfortable with the computer and you know that if something else was to go, um, that it won't be a difficult uh, swap um, to do yourself. So again, I'll put the, uh, the link in the description to the URL where you can enter your serial number on the Lenovo website and then get all the manufacturer parts for the pieces that are in your computer so that you know um, which one to get specifically. Uh, I have the ADVF model um, and it's important to, to make sure that you use a serial number so you can get the actual part number or the manufacturer part number of your piece. 
um, and search by that. So you get the exact one that you need. I don't know if it varies by model numbers. I would imagine in some capacity it does. Um, so that's pretty much it really. I mean, again, you just need one of these tool sets right here uh, with the Torx screws or, or bits and um, just order the, uh, the module itself. And it's a simple 10, 15 minute uh, swap and you can save yourself a lot of headache. I didn't see anything on how to take the computer apart um, or anything that recommended doing it yourself. Everyone just said they returned it to, um, to Lenovo and they fixed it through their warranty. And that was pretty much it. Some people said change some settings around, which I knew wasn't gonna help. I even actually um, clean, a, I wiped the computer back to, to kind of stock level um, and kind of kept all my files, but I wiped the, the Windows files and of course that didn't help. So again, number one, just confirm that it's a hardware issue. Try to connect um, your phone to it. And if you can't charge your, your port or your phone through that port, it's probably a dead port. Um, and if you're out of warranty, just again, just get the part number for that piece, order it on eBay and you're good to go. It's an easy swap and you'll get everything up and running. Once I did that, um, I was able to output video again to the TV instantly without issues. Didn't have to change any settings or anything. And I actually got um, a different um, adapter this time. And this is the one from Cable Matters. Uh, one thing to mention too, just in case, um, if you are trying to output video through this port, make sure you get an adapter that's HDMI 2.0 and that the cable as well is HDMI 2.0 so that you don't have any um, any weird pixel problems and clarity issues and resolution, resolution issues with your um, with your video output to like a 4K screen, which is what I have. Um, over, overall, it's a simple, simple fix and I figured just doing a quick video like this would help a lot of people once they realized that uh, if it is a hardware issue, they can just order the part. It's simple to find a part number and simple to swap out the piece uh, itself. So again, I'll, I'll put the link in the description. Hope you guys got something out of that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.